This conference will now be recorded. Good morning, students. Uh, in today's class, we are going to discuss about retardation test on DC motor. So uh, this is quite uh, different. What we discuss later uh, about uh, the uh, different testers, right? Uh, brake test on DC shunt motor, swimming test, uh, optimization test, field test. So uh, when compared to this, this on all test, it is quite different. So what is the difference means? Generally, uh, we are facing three types of losses in the DC motor as well as DC generator. These are iron losses, copper losses, and mechanical losses. Out of three, what, which two we call as electrical losses? Out of three. Out of three, we have three types of losses, right? Iron losses, copper losses, and mechanical losses. In that, uh, which two losses we, we belong to that uh, uh, electrical losses, and which one is mechanical losses? Iron losses and copper losses are electrical losses, sir. Right. Iron loss and copper loss are electrical losses. Now, till now, what we discussed different types of test. In that test, we just found that how to determine the iron losses and copper losses. But we don't know that how to find the mechanical losses, right? So that is the losses we are going to find by using this test, what we are going to discuss in today's class. Generally, if, when we talk about electrical, electrical losses, it is deals with three parameters. One is power, voltage, and current. At the same thing, when we talking about mechanical losses, it requires three parameters. Can you say what are the three mechanical parameters? Say, Amanda. So power, voltage, and current. These three are electrical parameters. What are the mechanical parameters? Torque, speed, and one more parameter is there. So I'm saying about mechanical parameters. So mechanical in sense, uh, the parameters which is related to the rotating parts. One is torque, another one is speed. One more parameter is there. And it is generated by I. What we call I here? I name Armature current, sir. No, I am talking about mechanical parameters. So, electrical current voltage AM. So, we are just we are talking about mechanical parameters. I and AM in terms of mechanical parts. Just think that torque, speed, and this one. So this is called as moment of inertia. So here the in electrical parameter we are talking about power. It is just like that in mechanical parameter is torque. For voltage we are talking about speed. For current we are talking about moment of inertia. So this is the relation between that electrical parameters into that mechanical parameters. So in electrical parameters, we can deal with power, voltage, and the current. In mechanical parameter, we can deal with torque, speed, and moment of inertia. Now, in by using this retardation test, we are going to find that mechanical losses in terms of moment of inertia. So why? Because this parameter is alone to create these two parameters, speed and torque. Moment of inertia and the name So if you if the if the moment of inertia is not perfect, we can't able to get that required amount of speed and required amount of torque. So that's why moment of inertia is a primary parameter. Due to this parameter, we can control the speed and torque. In the same way, we by using this current, we can control the voltage drop and power. Why? Because by using the excitation only, right, we can the EMF will be generated. EMF generated, then based on that, we will get the 
power. It may be mechanical power or electrical power. So this is the three parameters which are related to the electrical losses. These are the three parameters which are related to the mechanical losses. Now let's move on to the topic. So this is the last topic from your third unit. That is retardation test on DC motor. So generally, um, here uh, field test. So field test and the A type of motor switches are shunt or series of compound. What type of motor we can applicable for field test? Compound. Field test. What we discussed in yesterday class. Shunt sir. No. Field is field test is applied for the series motor. Okay. Swimmer test is used for that shunt motor. Hopkins and Sons. It is used for shunt motor and compound motor. Brake test. It is used for shunt motor and compound motor. Now let me see what type of motor we can apply, apply that this test. Retardation test. And sir. Right. So let me see that what is the of what is about to retard in test and what is the purpose. Generally, this is the best and simplest method to find the efficiency of a constant speed DC machine. So constant speed DC machine we call as a shunt motor and shunt generator. So shunt motor and shunt generator name constant speed DC machine. Now by using this test, we can easily find the efficiency. If you want to find the efficiency, you need to know that input, output, and losses. If you know these three parameters, then only you can calculate the efficiency, right? So that's why what we discussed in previous methods, we just found that electrical losses, but we, we are not considering any mechanical losses. But in this case, in this test, we are going to conclude that two losses, that is electrical and mechanical. In this method, we are going to find the mechanical losses that is friction and windage and iron losses of the machine. So if, uh, now we can get clarity, right? By using this method, you can you can find mechanical losses as well as electrical losses. Now by using these two losses, you can get that copper loss at any load. So you can have this thing. Iron losses is the constant losses. Why? Because it not based depends on the load and copper losses is a variable losses because it is depends on the load. If the load is increases, copper loss increases. If the load is decreases, copper loss will be decreased. Now, what is the under name of iron losses except constant loss? What is the under name oh. of iron? Right. So we can call a core loss, iron loss is a core loss and constant loss. Copper loss we can call as variable losses. So this is the purpose of we are going to do that retardation test to find electrical losses plus mechanical losses. Okay now. So this is the losses we are going to find to find out the final efficiency. Now let's move on to the topic and working principle of this test. <laughs> Now, how we can how we are conducting this test? So this test should be conducting in two modes. So let me see what are two modes. Generally, uh, we have that two circuit side. One is stator, other one is rotor. Now let me let me assume that this test should be conducting on the DC mode, DC shunt motor. Now this is the DC shunt motor. When we are applying the DC supply to the stator. The flux will be generated due to the flux armature get carried the armature current and it will be converted to the mechanical energy. Now in this test, we are going to conduct this test in two modes. The first mode is if the supply to the armature is cut off, but the field remains normally excited. It means that here the flux should be demagnetized. If flux is demagnetized, same, then Armature and area motor and power cut off out of so armature power on the there is no current flow through the armature. How it is possible? And they allow possible out of the by the arrangement of poles. 
అంటే పోల్స్ అంటే ఇప్పుడు మీకు ఆల్రెడీ ద నా సేమ్ పోల్ ఇస్ నెవర్ బి అట్రాక్టెడ్ ఎప్పుడైతే ఇక్కడ నార్త్ పోల్ ఉంది ఇక్కడ కూడా నార్త్ పోల్ ఉన్నట్టు అరేంజ్ చేస్తే దెన్ దిస్ ఫ్లక్స్ విల్ బి టీ మ్యాగ్నటైజ్డ్ అప్పుడు ఏమవుతుంది ఆర్మేచర్ లో పవర్ అనేది ఉండదు సో ద సప్లై ఇస్ కట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఆర్మేచర్ నవ్ ఎప్పుడైతే ఆర్మేచర్ లో సప్లై అనేది కట్ అవుతుంది దెన్ ఆర్మేచర్ గోయింగ్ టు బి స్లో డౌన్ so the motor slows down gradually and finally stops when the field is in the flux is demagnetized then the rotating armature will comes to them slow down and finally it stops so this action should be needed by the kinetic energy so kinetic energy and depend on that so this kinetic energy should be based on that friction and windage so this is the first method in first method we are we are disconnecting the energy so cut off to the armature and continuously we are providing them field wind okay armature lo mana supply off chesi field winding supply ista undi this is the first method in second method we are combined it both we are disconnecting the supply from armature as well as uh, stator so at that time the motor should be stop position within a quick time when compared to the first case ఫస్ట్ కేస్ లో కంపేర్ చేస్తే సెకండ్ కేస్ లో మోటర్ అనేది త్వరగా స్టాప్ పొజిషన్ కి వచ్చేస్తుంది ఓకేనా సో ఇన్ దిస్ కండిషన్ యూ కెన్ ఫైండ్ దట్ ఫ్రిక్షన్ అండ్ వైటేజ్ లాసెస్ అండ్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఎక్స్పెక్టెడ్ బికాస్ ఇన్ ద ఆబ్సెస్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్లక్స్ దేర్ విల్ బి ఏ నో ఐరన్ లాసెస్ ఈ మెథడ్ లో మనము ఐరన్ లాసెస్ అనేది ఫైండ్ అవుట్ చేయాలి వి కెన్ ఫైండ్ ఓన్లీ ఫ్రిక్షన్ అండ్ వైండేజ్ లాసెస్ నౌ బై యూజింగ్ దిస్ టూ మోడ్స్ వి కెన్ ఫైనలీ ఫైండ్ దట్ ఎలక్ట్రికల్ లాసెస్ ఇన్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఐరన్ లాసెస్ plus mechanical losses in terms of friction and wind losses by carrying out of first test we can find the friction and wind and wire losses so the three losses manam find out chesu by using these two modes now if you know these three losses automatically you can find the copper losses then finally you can find efficiency of the dc motor as well as dc generator this is the working principle of a retardation test it means that how we are cut, how we are going to be conduct the retardation test in two modes right theory of retardation test theory in the sense how, how we are going to find these three losses so our main aim is we need to find these three losses that is friction windage and iron losses so here copper loss we are not finding because we are not assuming any load here so we are not connecting any load here that's why first of all we need to find this three three losses by using these two methods one is first mode is only we are disconnecting the armature and field is continuously supply and second mode is both will be disconnected so from these two modes we can calculate these three losses right now let me see that in derivation point of view how we can derive this equation okay na? so this equation is completely deals with mechanical parameter that is speed angular velocity torque moment of inertia right now let consider so if you have notes just note on this let n is a normal speed and one more thing i want to tell you that uh, so here uh, we can uh, run we can run this motor above the rated speed okay na? so if you consider the 1000 rpm is the rated speed of this motor so you can uh, increase this 1030 1200 like that so you can run this test like that now let us see the derivation how we can find that a uh, moment of inertia so uh, let consider capital n is a normal speed in rpm that is rated speed and w is a normal angular velocity in radius per second and it is given by 2 pi n by 60 what is that so what is the difference between angular velocity and angular frequency angular velocity ki angular frequency ki difference endi so both are denoted by the omega right so how we can differ differ this angular velocity and angular frequency
right uh, ipudu uh, so i can write 2 pi f and 2 pi n so in that which one is angular velocity and which one is angular frequency Two, 2 pi, pi f, f is, is angular velocity. Right. 2 pi f is angular frequency and 2 pi n is angular velocity. So what is the difference means? If a mechanical part, with the mechanical part, the speed should be denoted in the form of angular velocity. If it is a rotating part, then the speed in the angular velocity to denote it. When talking about electrical parameters like voltage, current and power, we are going to talk about angular frequency. Then you speed name on angular frequency and mechanical speed in angular angular velocity. So that is the difference between angular frequency as well as angular velocity. But we can denote these two parameters by the same letter that is omega. Now we are going to find the mechanical losses, right? So mechanical losses in sense that is rotational losses. So rotational losses is given by W is equal to rate of loss of kinetic energy. So generally, what is the formula for kinetic energy here? What is the formula for kinetic energy? Half mv square, sir. Right. Half mv square. So here, m is a mass and v is a velocity. From this equation, we can represent this as w is equal to rate of change of. So d by dt, half in terms of mass, we I am choosing that inertia I, and in terms of velocity, I am using angular velocity omega square. So rate of change of kinetic energy in terms of rotational losses d by dt half I omega square. I and the moment of inertia omega is angular velocity. Now from this, if you differentiate with respect to time, so uh, then you will get so omega square m the two omega outcome. so two two get cancelled i omega d omega by dt so this is the rotational losses is given by in terms of moment of inertia and angular velocity now here i is a moment of inertia of the armature as omega equals to 2 pi n by 60. now if you substitute 2 pi n by 60 in this equation what you will get i into 2 uh, w is equal to i into in term in the place of omega and placing 2 pi n by 60 d by dt 2 pi n by 60. so in this 2 pi by 60 is a two times right so i'm going to be squaring on squaring side and 2 pi by 60 whole square i n d n by dt finally the rotation loss formula is 0 0.11 i n d n by dt this is the most important formula and we are getting in the complete exam what is the formula we are going to use to find the rotational losses? W is equal to 0 0.011 I n D n by D T. So just keep remember this equation. And this equation we are get we got from the kinetic energy formula that is Ke is equal to half m v square. So are you clear about this derivation? Students, are you clear about this derivation? Yes, sir. Right. Now, uh, we will we'll, we'll do that uh, one model problem on this form derivation. So, by using this formula, so how to calculate the losses? So, a problem this. Right. So, this is the uh, just model problem. How we can calculate the uh, rotation losses? See here, suppose the normal speed of a DC machine is 1000 rpm. This 1000 rpm is a rated speed. Rated speed means that is the constant speed. We can say constant speed. Now, when retardation test is performed, the time taken for the speed to fall from 1030 rpm to 970 rpm. So, this test is rated speed. So, it never conducts. Conducting on the rate of speed. Now, first the motor should be running on the 1030. When we apply the two modes, the speed will be reduced to 970 R. So it, it the speed will be reduced from 1030 to 970 in 15 seconds with the field normally exited. 
if the moment of inertia of the armature is 75 kg then we need to find the rotational loss so rotational loss of formula is w is equals to 0.011 in dn by dt now let me substitute the all parameters what we have here the first one is 0.011 i is 75 so 75 kg per meter square this is moment of inertia and normal radial speed is 1000 rpm and dn is speed of change at a change speed ela change ayindi from 1030 to 930 entha osundi difference 60 rpm and dt what is the time and 15 seconds from this equation you can get that 3300 watts are a rotational losses this is the way of finding that rotational losses if you want to find the rotational losses you need to be remember this equation w is equals to 0.011 i n d n by d t so here i is a moment of inertia n is a speed and d n is a change in speed from high level to low level or low level to high level and d t the time taken to changing in the speed so this is the model problem and example problem uh, how we can calculate that rotational losses by using the retardation test right now our main intention in this test is moment of inertia right so moment of inertia is a vital role happening in the mechanical parts why because the moment of inertia uh, is a uh, main parameter to develop the torque and speed in the rotating parts now if you want to control the torque and speed you need to control the moment of inertia so this moment of inertia is available on the which device is rotating జనరల్లీ మనకు మోటార్ లో తీసుకుంటే స్టేటర్ అండ్ రోటార్ టూ పార్ట్స్ ఉంటాయి సో స్టేటర్ లో మనం ఫీల్డ్ వైండింగ్ ప్రొవైడ్ చేస్తాము పోల్ షో లైక్ దట్ అండ్ ఇన్ రొటేటింగ్ పార్ట్స్ ఇట్ ఇస్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ ఆర్మేచర్ సో హియర్ ఆర్మేచర్ ఇస్ రొటేటింగ్ పార్ట్ రైట్ సో నౌ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు బి ఇన్వాల్వింగ్ ఇన్ ద ఆర్మేచర్ మూమెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఇనర్షియన్ సో దట్ ఈస్ ద థింగ్ హ్యాపనింగ్ హియర్ ఇన్ ద రిటార్డేషన్ టెస్ట్ ద రొటేషనల్ లాస్ ఆర్ గివెన్ బై డబ్ల్యూ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు దిస్ ఫార్ములా నౌ ఇన్ ఆర్డర్ టు ఫైల్ డబ్ల్యూ so w man konkonte the value of i must be known if if you want to find the rotation losses you need to by know that i so that's why um, in previous problem we know the value of i so then only we can find this uh, w value it is difficult to determine i directly or by calculation so i and i want to direct ga konkole oka vela ku value isthe substitute cheyadam tappa we can't able to find that uh, moment of inertia so in moment of inertia in how we can determine ante ela chesante by using the experiment and by using the mathematical operation so that that is the thing we are going to derive now so we just want to eliminate this i and how to find this i by using the derivation now we are performing that another experiment by which either i is calculated or eliminated from the above equation ee method valla i ni calculate anna cheyachu ledha eliminate anna cheyachu so by using these methods we can find that rotational losses so just this is the two methods oka method lo mana i ni calculate chesamo inkoka method lo i ni eliminate chestam right so the first method we can call as fly wheel method in which the value of i is calculated fly wheel method means so the name itself indicates that the wheel should be rotating so where the rotating parts are there then the moment of inertia is available at that point the this is the first method in this method we are including and calculating the moment of inertia the first retardation test is performed with armature alone and dn by dt is determined so here dn by dt1 why because it is first method right so you can represent dn by dt1 is determined next a free fly wall of the known moment of inertia i1 is keyed onto the shaft of the machine for the same change in speed so this is the second type so first one 1000 rpm unte 1030 unte tarvata 970 vachu kada so this is the second case now uh, this is the first method in this method by using these two cases <coughs> we can calculate moment of inertia now let me see that in derivation point of view how we can calculate right <laughs> so this is the equation for first case that is process is equals to 
डबल जीरो पॉइंट जीरो डबल वन आई एन डी एल बाई डी वन इन सेकंड केस द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया इज चेंज सो फर्स्ट केस लो वन थाउजेंड थर्टी उन्हें सेकंड केस उसे चल के नौ नाइन सेवेंटी हो चुकी है अंते स्पीड है ना तकिन दे सो स्पीड एक पूरी तक उतने मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया परिकित है स्पीड तक उतने ओके ना सो दैट्स व्हाई हियर आई एम आइडिंग वन मोर पैरामीटर टू द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया दैट इस आई वन एन डी एन बाय डी टी टू सो टी वन एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट केस व्हेन इट इज मोर देन द रेट स्पीड एंड दिस इज द सेकंड केस व्हेन द स्पीड शुड बी रिड्यूस्ड टू द लो वैल्यू नाउ एट आइडियल केस एट आइडियल केस इन द सेंस वी आर गोइंग टू यूज इक्वेटिंग दिस टू केसेस जीरो पॉइंट डबल वन आई एन डी एन बाय टी टी वन इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सो इफ यू इक्वेटिंग दिस टू टर्म्स दिस टू विल बी गेट कैंसिल एंड देयर इज एनी पैरामीटर्स कैंसिल गोइंग टू कैंसिल and n so finally i dn by dt1 equals to i plus i1 dn by dt2 now from this equation i i need the value of i i kavali ela rasukochu how we can write that i value here from this equation you know that i1 by i2 right so i1 by i equals to t2 divided by t2 minus t1 divided by t1 Now, by using this equation, I need to find that I value, I equation. How we can write this I equation? I is equal to t one I one by t t two minus I t uh, one sir. Yeah, right. I is equal to I one into t one divided by t two minus t one. Okay. So the meaning is that. When the param, if we want to go thousand thirty degree, only moment of inertia tells you. But when the speed is reduced to nine seventy, in case the moment of inertia allow unto the, so we need to find that. So that that's why we are going to this formula to find out this value. That is I is equal to I one T one divided by T two minus T one. Since the values of I one T one T two are known, the moment of inertia I should be determined. So first method, man, I any determine this up. Now, when come to the second method, we are eliminating this I. Okay, now let me see how it is possible. Right. So this is the second method. In this method, we are going to be eliminate this I. So I is eliminated from the expressions by an exper experiment. First retardation test is performed with armature alone. The total loss, the rotation loss, are given by W is equal to 0.011 I n T n by T t1. So it is the same. Then the then difference is the same. So here the motor is loaded with a known amount of power W dash with a brake for the same change in speed. It is noted. In the in the last case, we are equating the two losses. But in the in this case we are uh, we are adding the two we are adding the two losses. Okay, now this is the first uh, rotation loss at first case and rotation loss. At, so this is the first case and second case. So when we without applying any brake and with applying the brake. So now we we got the two equations one and two. Now we are dividing this equation two by one. Then you will getting in the form of W is equal to W dash into T one minus T two. Is it say is it correct or not? So it is wrong. So its formula is W is equals to W dash into T two divided by T one minus T two. So this is the second case when we are eliminating that I value. Okay, now man, moment of inertia tell you the only losses tell us say E formula is correct. If you know the moment of inertia, then you can use that previous formula. So if we want to total go three formulas to check. A formula is W is equals to zero point zero double one I n d n by d t. This is the rotation loss formula. Next, I is equals to I dash R I two I two something into T two divided by T one T two T one divided by T two minus T one. This is When we are going to calculate the moment of inertia, not current. So keep in mind. So in mechanical part, we are talking, we are representing that moment of inertia as by I. And this is one is for uh, uh, that is rotation losses.
sorry guys oh, small interruption now uh, this is the second method in this method we are going to find that rotation losses so now uh, we we discussed two methods one is including moment of inertia another one is including rotation losses now uh, let me see that when we apply the electrical load so just now we discussed when we apply the mechanical load that is brake test now when we apply the electrical loading what will happen let me see see here uh, this is the normal equation for finding the rotation losses in previous session we discussed we can eliminate i from the above expression by applying either mechanical or electrical loading to the armature okay man eliminate chesete appudu mechanical load of brake test apply chesi manam w ni kanukunam now in this concept we are applying the electrical load so when we are applying the electrical load then we can see that how it will be performed so this is the circuit diagram for this uh, electrical load now if you observe this circuit diagram here it is a dbst switch double double pole single through switch so we can we can add this switch in this direction or in this direction okay now now when this switch is connected in this direction so when it is connected here then it is motor running as a uh, running as normal speed so because it is connected to the supply after after above the rated speed so when it so our rated speed is 1000 rpm means when the speed is reaches to the more than the rated speed so 1030 at that time we 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 can disconnect the switch to this direction ante aa switch ni mana ee direction lo move cheyali so chesthe ee circuit ki disconnect avutundi ante armature circuit is disconnected and it is connected to the electrical load okay aa appudu em avutundi so this is the load we are connecting here and due to this resistance the armature flux will be demagnetized and it should be going to be stop so this is the way of applying that electrical load on the retardation test so finally we are finding this by using this test that is mechanical losses okay so in that mechanical losses we are finding that rotation losses and by using for finding the rotation losses we are going to connect the two modes the first mode is when armature circuit is disconnected then the field winding is continuously supplied then the motor should be going to be start stop okay now that is the first case in second case when both are disconnected what will happen after that finally we obtain that equation of rotation losses now our intention is how we can calculate the moment of inertia in the two cases in first cases we are considering that i in second cases we are eliminating the i so these are the topics we are discussed in retardation test so okay students uh, this is about today's class in tomorrow class we are going to be start that fourth unit that is transformer okay now. so before going to the class i just want you tell you about introduction about transformer so then only you can get clarity on this right so what is the purpose of transformer why we are using the transformer voltage ni increase cheyalani right for increase or decrease the voltage level okay so uh we have four theory to just complete them it is uh, related to the single phase transformer in that in that unit you are going to study about what is transformer how the emf equation will be finding and what is the equivalent circuit and different test it like ocsc test okay na? so uh, what topics we will discuss so okay students uh, this is about today's class we will meet in tomorrow class thank you